Welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, guys, and thanks for tuning into the episode today, and, and actually for tuning in every day, because I really appreciate the love and support you guys are showing to the channel, and I always look forward to showing you guys the newest watch faces from all the different developers out there, and of course, being able to share the freebies from the generous developers as well. And for today's show, I have three new watch faces to show you from our friend, Pappy Watch. And don't forget that I'm now giving away two free coupons with one lucky viewer here getting a coupon and another coupon is going to a random registered user on the my gear watch website for now though let's go have a closer look at these digital and hybrid watch faces okay starting things off here's an all digital face that's easy to read because of those oversized digits with the hour shown at the top and the minutes are shown in the bottom half of the face the date, day, and month are also shown in the top half, and then the current weather, a step count and goal, and battery remaining are all shown in the bottom half, and actually the battery status and the step goal are also depicted as graphical bars, which is a really nice touch to add. And if you double tap on the face, you can actually switch between seven different colored and textured backgrounds, which are all quite different, so you can really give the watch face a different look and feel depending on which texture you set. Now this one comes with four apps shortcuts and a simple but clear AOD mode. Okay, next up is a hybrid watch face which displays both the analog and the digital time and you also have the option of setting the digital time in a 12 or 24 hour format. Now this face has a pretty clean layout as most of the information is displayed just around the inner ring there at the center of the face and it includes your battery status, step count and goal and the date just under the digital time. Now the month and the date are shown in the 3 and 9 positions and then there's a glowing red dot representing the seconds hand that circles the bezel. Double tapping on the center of the face enables you to cycle through a variety of different colored backgrounds and they all come in a nice multi-tone color theme which not only makes them attractive to look at but also gives the face a feeling of depth as well. Now this one comes with four app shortcuts which are located at the 3, 9 and 12 positions and then you have the phone icon finishing off the shortcuts in the 6th position. Alright, and the last one I want to show you guys is another hybrid watch face, although this one is set in a very modern style and it features an animated counterclockwise ring that rotates the bezel there. Now this one comes in a variety of really nice colored choices like the last face, as well as some contrasting textures. As you can see, there's a nice mix there of both smooth and dotted textures. Now the display features on this one are spread out over the entire face and includes a digital time and heart rate at the top, step count, distance smooth, floors climb, and a batter remaining in the bottom half of the face. And then you have a graphical gauge for your steps goal on the left and a battery remaining gauge on the right hand side. Four app shortcuts and a glowing red dot for the seconds hand completes the features in this very attractive display. And if you want more information on the watch faces I reviewed today, then simply do a search in the Galaxy App Store under the name of these faces. The full details are also included in the video description. And I'm also going to be giving away a free coupon with one going to a random and lucky viewer that comments here, and the other coupon is going to a random user that's already registered on the My Gear Watch website. So you essentially have two chances to win, both here and on the website. But remember, you have to be a registered user in order to participate, so make sure you go sign up. As always, good luck to everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.